Yes, I know that you're tired of seeing this image. Hopefully this should be the last time you see this image. Maybe. Hopefully. Well, considering how my backlog still is and is not getting any better and how I'm around two years behind on everything, you shouldn't have to see this image again for a while. Hello everyone, it's Megachamp again. And, um, I decided to do a sort of full thoughts type or full thoughts like or whatever you want to call it type video um, on the updated Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, demo that was put out yesterday. Um, the reason why I didn't stream it is because the game is a little less or a little over a week away from being released. It comes out on the uh, leap year day on um, February 29th, which is, yeah, literally next week. So it's literally um, a week away from releasing. Um, so the reason why I didn't do a stream of it like I did for the other uh, demo with the Nibelheim flashback is because of the fact that the game is about a week away from release. It is more than likely um, that things are going to be leaked because this is just how things work now with games and it literally happens to everything now doesn't matter what it is if it's persona 3 reload or final fantasy 7 rebirth whatever the game is or whatever the game in question is it always ends up being leaked and things from it end up being leaked this is just kind of normal and the case so I didn't want to run the risk of some asshole uh, typing in the stream chat and spoiling everything because there are already reports that the game has already leaked. So I didn't want to run that risk. I mean, would it have happened on my stream? Probably not, since nobody watches my stream, but I've always been the better safe than sorry type of person. So that's kind of why I did that. It is what it is at the end of the day, obviously. Um, but I just figured I would do this instead. And I am very well aware that there has been a lot that has been going on this past several weeks. But what has been made abundantly clear is that no matter what I say and no matter what anyone says... People are going to get their panties in a bunch and, and act like a five-year-old mental child instead of the adult that they clearly are. So, and nobody wants to acknowledge and respect other people's opinions no matter what they happen to be and have a f temper tantrum. I almost cussed. I'm trying not to and turn this into a shoot. Um, and have a temper tantrum no matter what those opinions are. So since everyone wants to act like a five-year-old child now, it really doesn't matter what I say about certain things, even if it's the goddamn truth, because most of the time it is, that nobody wants to acknowledge or realize because they want to live in their stupid-ass fantasy worlds. But to stop shooting, the point is, I can't win, ever, with anything anymore. So clearly... It doesn't really matter what I would have said about the PlayStation stuff, which is literally not the case of what they said. The PlayStation 5 has been out four years. Console generations last around seven years. That means there's three years left. This is the fourth year. Gee, I, I, I can't, you know, use that thing that's in my skull to tell me that it only makes sense that it's the latter half of the PlayStation 5's life cycle. And it doesn't matter if the PlayStation 5 came out in a pandemic year or not. Boy, that, that takes, that is so hard to, uh, you know, use the thing in your skull to realize but, you know, let's not min let's not get into that <laughs> and other bullshit things that are going on where companies don't want to make hand over fist by releasing a console during the holiday season, rumored, but 
Clearly, I can't win. I just can't win, so I'm not going to even try because everyone wants to act like a five-year-old mental child instead of the adult they clearly are. So I'm not really going to speak on that. One of the things I've already spoke on, which I'm not even going to mention my name, go look in the community area for my thoughts on that. Um, so yeah, um, we're going to move on from that now, if that's possible for me, which it is. And we're going to talk about the update for the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo. demo. If I can talk. So the demo in question uh, covers the Junon area. You know, where the uh, parade takes place. That part of the original Final Fantasy VII. There's not much for me to actually say. And I don't even have my list um, out in front of me. Because it's just a demo. You have to keep that in mind. It's just a demo. And not the full-fledged game. And not the full game. So you also have to keep that in mind. So everything in the demo is not going to be indicative of what's going to be available. And what you will be able to do in the full game. Which was very abundantly clear to me when I played the updated demo and will be abundantly clear to you if you play the updated demo which i do recommend but you can only do so if you have a playstation 5 i don't think you can do it on steam or pc but i could be wrong in that regard i don't know i'm not an expert if we haven't already established this then that will never happen so there's not much to the demo, honestly. Um, you don't get to explore as much of the region as I'm sure you'll be able to in the full game. But from um, but from what the preview they gave, good God, man, good God. And from the um, the reviews that have um come out so far for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, again, good God, man, good God. <laughs> it's great. It really is. Is this me being biased because I love Final Fantasy and I love Final Fantasy VII in particular? Maybe you can make that argument. That's kind of why you have to play things for yourself. What a shock that is. Anyway, um, it's great. It really is. Um, I did, I mean, as you saw when I did the stream of the Nibelheim flashback, I kind of forgot everything on how, on how the controls worked. I did kind of have to do that again again because that was like two weeks ago or so and I'm still playing Tales of Arise which is a completely different game with a completely different uh, mechanic scheme and control scheme but you get the point. But it's really good and it's really great. Color me shocked. The Nibelheim flashback demo was also really good and really great. There was also a, just as a sort of... Uh, thing to mention for um Hugh here if you decide to play both demos um there's actually a piano mini game that I didn't um discover in my original stream when I played it it's probably a good thing because I'm bad at musical and rhythm games so it's definitely a good thing because when I played it and found it um, on my second uh, playthrough of the Nibelheim flashback on the normal difficulty. I was shit at it. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, on the Junon uh, update demo, I did play it on easy. I'm sorry. I like having a guide. So you also have to keep that in mind. Because I didn't really struggle for the most part, even with the final boss in the demo and the Junon update. Although one of the reasons for that is because I watched a video in my YouTube subscription feed that gave that told me what the final boss's weakness was. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> hey, I like knowing what a weakness is, and it helped! I like not struggling. I'm sorry. Um, so there are some things you can do in the demo before you do uh, go to Junon. It's not much. That's brutal honesty. It's like four combat 
things you can do, like combat, um, fighting some specific monsters in the field with specific objectives, like pressuring them, or staggering them, or defeating them within the time limit, that sort of stuff, and other things as well. Um, I wasn't able to do literally every single objective, because I didn't have a guide. I'm better when I have a guide in front of me. I was able to complete, like, two out of the four enemy objectives, like, every single one of them. Like, each of the enemy objectives has, has three objectives. So, basically, I was able to um, complete um, all three of the objectives of two out of the four enemy uh, special enemy locations basically because i couldn't figure out how to pressure a specific enemy and i couldn't figure out how to stop this other enemy from taking flight after some stupid specific move but that's what guides are for and that's what i will be using a guide for in the full game so i'm not really too particularly worried or bothered over over that because it's literally just a gem a demo and not the full game What I can tell you, though, is that synergy abilities are really goddamn fun and really goddamn abusive. You can abuse the hell out of them. It can bet your ass that's what I did. <laughs> Some of the other synergy combo abilities are also really good and really fun. It's just so great and so fun. Obviously, I was playing on easy, so I was able to trigger limit breaks a bit more often. But I don't care. I really don't. Um, so uh, there are... I rem What I do remember is that the, out of all of the enemy objectives, there were a total of 12, and I managed to complete 10. So I completed 10 out of 12. So that's around the 80% range. I don't know about you, but a B, great, but that, but that's a B. A B is pretty decent without using a guide, even if it is on easy. I'm satisfied with myself. That's really all that matters. The area is pretty big for the most part. You also get to um, ride on a chocobo, and Red 13 on the, on the chocobo is hilarious. <laughs> I did play as Red 13 for a little bit. I don't particularly know how he works all that well, but it's just a demo. He was very fun to use, I'll say that much. Very, very fun to use. And this is literally all of the characters that you get to use in the in the Junon part of the demo. Tifa, Barrett, Cloud, obviously. I mean, what? You thought you wouldn't be able to play as Cloud? Uh, Aerith and Red 13. Yuffie does appear in the demo, but you don't get to play as her, and she only appears at the end of the demo when you fight the final boss. The final boss of the demo is the Terror of the Deep monster, the monster from the dolphin part, from the trailers, <laughs> and maybe some of the other stuff if you watched some of the uh, other people who are a lot more famous than I am who got previews. Um, if you watched some of that, then it's that boss. The boss from the, um, the, the river that attacks Yuffie from that, from the dolphin. <laughs> um, I didn't really struggle with the final boss. I used, uh, Barrett, Cloud, and, um, Aerith. Because the um, final boss is uh, weak to lightning. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> hey, it's good when you know what it's weak to, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, yeah, I used um, Thundara on it <clears throat> with Aerith. Yeah, that uh, that got it real good. <laughs> so, that's um, what I did. Um, used a couple synergy abilities. Got to use Barret's... Uh, limit break and I <clears throat> finished it in style with uh, Cloud and uh, Aerith's uh, synergy ability or synergy combo ability there's like two different ones 
Like, there's a synergy thing you can do when you guard. And there's also a synergy when you um, get enough of the meter up. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but... I'm just giving you my experience. Um, as far as the sort of complaint, quote-unquote, as I say that in air quotes, from the performance mode where it was so called supposedly blurry in performance mode during the Nibelheim flashback, uh, I was too busy focusing on what was going on in the game. <laughs> what was happening in the game. I'm not an expert, okay? I'm not. I didn't really notice anything, but like I said, I'm not an expert. From what I have heard from other people that I watch on YouTube and on Discord servers, it's better than what it was. Still not great, apparently, but I don't really care. I'm sorry, I don't. All I really care about is gameplay and how fun it is, and God, was it fun! Fun. So goddamn fun. So, that's just my sort of perspective on if that was fixed or not. I guess you'll have to play it for yourself. <laughs> but yeah, not much else to really say. I did all of the, um, uh, I fought all of the monsters with the objectives. I just didn't complete every single last one of them. Like I said, 10 out of 12. When I have a guide, I'll do better. Maybe. We'll see. Um, <laughs> only time will tell. Um, so that's pretty much that. There's not really much else for me to say. I'm doing this without my list in front of me. There's no point in me talking about the story or the characters or the world. Because it's just a demo and not the full game. Graphics I thought were fine. I played on performance. Whether it was better than what it was on in the Nibelheim flashback, supposedly it is, but I don't know that for certain. I was too focused on having fun and fighting and all the funness and the chocobo greatness and the Red 13 hilarity and the... You get the point. I'm not an expert. I'm sorry. Gameplay is great. It's basically Final Fantasy VII Remake, but better. <laughs> So yeah, it's great. I loved it. Great demo. Um, I did have a, lo a little bit more fun playing it on my own. Uh, I, I, I didn't want to run the risk of spoilers, but I'm just kind of saying that technically I did have more fun just playing it on my own and not having to worry about stuff you kind of have to do during a stream. But, um, you know, it was fun. I really did enjoy it. I really did like it. If you have a PlayStation 5 and you want to play it for yourself, I do recommend it. Just be warned that it's the biggest uh, demo I think I've ever seen released on the PlayStation Network. It's like 43 gigabytes or somewhere around there. And the update is an additional 2 and it took me over two and a half hours to download. That might be because of my internet. <laughs> Everyone's going to download things differently. But I'm just kind of giving you a warning. That if you do try to play the demo yourself. Which I do recommend. It may take you several hours. So, But yeah, that was my personal experience on the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Junon demo update. It's great. It really is. I will say of one negative thing, to try to be fair, there was some pop-in for some of the environment stuff that I noticed. But it was like way far in the background. But I did notice it. So there you go. Something negative. It'll probably be fixed in the full game. It's a demo. Not indicative of the full game. So I just figured I should do at least something um, for the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth dem uh, Junon demo update. So the, here you go. <laughs> 
So yeah. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I'm not really sure when the next uh, gaming stuff will happen. Stellar Blade does come out in April. That is in two months, though. So if they put out like a demo for that, I will I will stream that because it's different. And I do want to make a determination on if that game is for me or not. And that's the only way I feel like I'm going to know. So if they put out a demo for that, I will stream that. Um, uh, trying to think. Oh, <laughs> Tales of Arise. Yeah, I'm still on that. <laughs> I still can't say if I'm going to stream it or not. It's getting to the point where I'm not sure if it's even worth it. And there are a lot of problems with that game. Just like I mentioned last time during my last uh, video, which was the Nibelheim flashback Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo stream. The game has a lot of problems and a lot of issues I personally don't like. <clears throat> so there's a sort of hint... It's probably going to be similar to that Tales of Zillia 2 Full Thoughts video I did, where it was almost a full hour. So there's your warning. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if I want to stream it at this point. That's, that's, that kind of tells you something else. We'll see. If I can figure out a part that's not too spoilery, because I'm getting too close to a part of the game that it might be too spoiler territory, but I don't know anymore, clearly, so I guess it depends on if I feel like it or not. If you want a Tales of Arrive stream, then let me know in the comments, I guess. Or I can just give you a one-hour full thoughts video, I guess. So there you go. I don't know what's going to happen. There's a lot that's been changing in terms of gaming stuff recently. Although technically it's still rumored. But um, we'll see. Imagine not wanting to make a shit ton of money during the holiday season. Anyway, um, we'll see what happens at the end of the day. Oh, right, I almost forgot. The Pokemon Presents is next week. Maybe I'll do something on that. I mean, the very vocal minority is going to be whiny five-year-old babies anyway. But either I'm going to be right, or the Pokemon Company and Game Freak will be contradictory hypocrites. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. They're going to put something out. They're not going to take the year off because of that one thing. I'm sorry. And they're never going to change. I'm sorry. These are just basic, simple, common sense facts. If you have the important thing in your skull. Anyway, that's all I got for you. We'll see what happens. So yeah, let me know if you want a Tales of Arise stream. And uh, we'll talk. Maybe, if I feel like it, about what happens at the Pokemon Presents. So, that was my full thoughts on the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Jun Junon demo update. It's a mouthful. So until then, I'll see ya. This is Mega Champ saying next time I'll be providing you with more unlimited guidance. You're a nutcase, Red 13. <laughs> okay, we're done. No more shooting. Well, maybe. No promises. I only do it when I am really mad and it'll make me feel better. I'm stalling. Bye!